previous versions. The rendering engine is based on the popular LuxCore engine, supporting state-of-the-art algorithms using physically-based rendering techniques. This video introduces the user to the new features and how to access these features through the updated user interface. Some of the more prominent new features introduced with the version 14 rendering include support for CPU and GPU devices. If you have a new ARM M1 Mac, those GPUs are now leveraged into your rendering. Additionally, uh, lighting has been updated. We do support HDRI, sun, sky with options to control gain, gamma, and rotation. Direct lighting, distant point sphere area, and a new laser light for discrete based lighting. And we now support caustics. If you have special effects due to lighting, you can now enable our bi-directional light tracing for improved caustics. We continue to support backgrounds with a variety of image formats to fill those pixels not covered by the rendering. And a variety of new materials and shaders, matte, glossy, mirror, a whole new library of metals and glass and gemstones are now introduced. There continues to be a large texture library that you can drag and drop onto your models, including textures, image maps for your base or diffuse color, bump, normal, roughness, or alpha mask. And your textures include the ability to uh, adjust the UV scaling, rotation, or gain parameters. And lastly, a suite of powerful post processes are now included. This includes the denoiser, uh, gamma correction, color aberration, visionette, and tone mapping. Let's review the four key user interface components. The first item that you'll want to access is the render tool palette. This is accessed from the menu bar tools photo render. Use this tool palette to render or set up everything about your scene to render. This tool consists of the Create Camera, Render Camera, Render Current View, Render to File, Recall Last Render, and Render Settings. The second key user interface item is the Render Settings dialog. This is accessed from the last tool icon in the Render Tool palette. The photorealistic render settings sets all the parameters associated with general settings, HDRI, backgrounds, sun and sky lighting environments, materials, textures, and post-processing effects. The next important user interface item is the render library accessed from the tools rendering menu bar. This user interface provides access to textures and materials that can be dragged or dropped onto your models. The last item is the light tool palette. This provides tools to create discrete light sources in your model, potentially augmenting any environmental lighting you may have. Direct light sources include distance, flood, point, sphere, line or strip lighting, area lights, and lastly, laser. 